Hello lovelies, I'm back. This is Kimberly Purpose. Hello family and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do another video. I found this amazing article and um, I stumbled across it and I thought this was quite interesting because it talks about how African Americans have DNA that are quite ancient, more ancient than uh, scientists and geneticists and researchers scientists and researchers have ever thought before and it's making us have to reevaluate and think about um you know just think about how history our history is and uh, how long we've been here in the americas and and globally, actually, you know, it shows us being here for thousands of hundreds of thousands of years, which is more ancient than was previously previously thought. And so this article was published in NBC News by and was written by Alan Boyle. And this is a scientist at a science editor. And of course, there's a picture of the DNA. Right here, it says a photo micrograph shows an X chromosome at the left. There it is right there. Along with a shrunken Y chromosome right here. The Y chromosome is passed down exclusively from the father to son and can serve as an indicator of male line human diversity. And this was published in the University of Arizona. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> wow. And it says African American Y chromosome sparks shift in evolutionary timetable. That's the title of this article. It says here, scientists says an African American male's odd genetics signature suggests that the Y chromosome lineage goes back further in time than they thought perhaps due to interbreeding with other populations such as Neanderthals. Yeah, right. I disagree with that. <laughs> uh, interbreeding with the Neanderthals, African, probably from the slave trade when they were mixed with the, when they were enslaved. I could see that. Maybe that's what they're talking about because um, studies have already shown that um, Many of the Europeans were the ones that had the Neanderthal DNA. So that's probably how that came about. I don't know. Let's continue. Let's see what this article says. This really upsets a lot of ideas, but at the same time, it's understandable if they accept the human population structures past. So they were little pockets of diversity. Michael Hammer, an evolutionary biologist in the University of Arizona, who is one of the authors whose study published in American Journal of Human Genetics. See, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to, in this article, look like they're trying to put um, great Caucasians in with it. You know, they just need to just accept the fact that they found that the African Americans are more ancient than they thought. It does not have anything to do with the Neanderthals, okay? And they always got to throw that in there. You know, just accept the fact that we're indigenous and ancient. And what, you know, that's what it looked like to me. Well, let's continue. <laughs> it says here, the study focused on analysis of DNA sample that was obtained by an African-American living in South Carolina and submitted to the Geographic Pro Project, a national geographic effort aimed to mapping human origins and migration. The funny thing about this sample is that it didn't match up with any of the previous known genetic signatures of the Y chromosome, which is passed down from father to son. Nobody expected to find anything like this, Hammer said in a news release. See? And this is wonderful news. It's chill. You know, we already knew that we've been here for, for a long time. And I always felt like as African Americans, we, you know, AKA Aboriginal Americans, that we were indigenous here in the Americas. And I believe that this research is further showing that that's the case. Even though I 
personally still disagree with the Neanderthal thing. I think the Neanderthal, if they do have Neanderthal, that stems from the slave trade. Okay, because great Caucasians didn't come over here until the late 1400s. So it's probably fairly recent, but that does not have anything to do with the DNA. You know, you know, it's just great Caucasians just trying to put themselves and, and continue the legacy of putting themselves and stealing people's history for themselves and trying to place them somewhere where they didn't belong or weren't here first. So let's continue. That's what I see out of that. A team led by Fern, Fernanda Mendez, a researcher in Hammer Lab, analyzed more than 240,000 DNA based pairs on the African American's Y chromosome. A comparison of the differences between the mystery genetic signature and the previous known signature led the team to conclude that most recent common ancestors for the entire group lived about 338 thousand years ago wow see they just need to set what i believe is that the aboriginal americans the american aborigines the aka african americans are is a, 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 a distinct group i believe that we originate here in the americas and um i believe that this research definitely supports that and shows that we were already over here, that we were our own you know, race of peoples that suffered, that's, you know, a little different. We, even though we melanated people, but, you know, uh, we're not the same as the Africans, you know? Yeah, we probably are, you know, it's melanated, you know? And we, but I believe that we were world travelers and we populated the whole planet um, a long time ago in ancient times. And I believe that this research further supports that theory. But anyway, that goes further back to the fossil writers that goes for the anatomically modern human. Hamber said the fossil record speaks to 195,000 years or 200,000 years, he said. It also goes further back than the previous date of for the most recent common ancestors based on Y chromosome analysis, which is in the range of 142,000 years. And I think this is amazing because originally, when they first started doing that, they focused on the, um, on the X chromosome, which is the female. And for the first time now, I believe they're starting to tap more into the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome tend to go back further um, to the past and pulling up more uh, genetic signatures of people's ancestors. And it says here the researchers follow up on their discovery of searching through a genetic database for African population and turned up 11 men from Western Cameroon who have virtually the same genetic signature. See? See? And see, there's just, in Cameroon, is a, I believe it's in Africa, that it, uh, but uh, yeah, it is in Africa. So, which is really amazing. This is great. But like I said, this further explains where, you know, people originate from Africa and, um, but, We've been here for so long in the Americas. We are our own, you know, ethnic group and have different cultures. And so, like I said, I believe that this further supports that we traveled here. And it's a possibility that the people from Africa traveled here hundreds of thousands of years ago, you know, from Africa and came over here. You know, oh, the, cave, the drawings, the Aboriginal case show how it was done through the boats. And, and how they sell, sailed over there, over here. And so I believe it's quite feasible that and since um, melanin, it's already been proven that melanated people are over here, that uh, we, we were already over here. And so, and knowing that we've been here for hundreds of thousands of years can also prove that we are also indigenous, indigenous here in the Americas. And um, as well, and I just think this is amazing research.
And it says here, Hammer said that there could be two explanations of previously unidentified Y chromosome types. Either the genetic heritage of anatomically correct humans really goes back much further than what reflected on the fossil records or other populations such as Neanderthals or more recent identified divinians interbreed with modern, <laughs> modern humans. Yeah, right. This is their way of trying to place Neanderthals, uh, great Caucasians in here. And if a black, you know, this is this gray washing I was talking about. I guess they're trying to propose that. These are just theories, you guys. They're saying here, either genetic, uh, and, and he's, Hammer said that there are two explanations of the previously unidentified Y chromosomes. Like they are still insisting on putting themselves in here and not accepting the fact that African Americans were already over here and that African Americans are indigenous group of people. And we just, why can't they just accept the fact that African Americans are ancient? And, have, and if, if the next oldest group is in Cameroon, Africa, obviously it's people of melanoid, uh, um, who are melanated, who are in the ones who are the ancient ones here. It has nothing to do with Neanderthals or the Divinians. I think they just making this crap up. And I don't know if they saw these two in the DNA, but I speculate that these came from the slave trade, especially Neanderthals. You have in most African-Americans that they had Neanderthal DNA is from the rapes and the assault that great Caucasoids have done. And they the main ones that have the Neanderthal DNA in them. But I just think this is uh, an example of how they're trying to greywash science too. You know, the biasness, they refuse to accept the fact that an African-American has ancient DNA, okay? Point blank, with ancient DNA and it further su supports our indigenous heritage, okay? And so they throw this, you know, uh, themselves in here trying to put themselves here and still trying to take away from African-American research. That proves that we're indigenous here. They were still trying to paint themselves as being the ones that are ancient. Y'all were not ancient. All right, just accept the fact. And these scientists are true. This is, you no, know, they, they racial biasness right here. Eugenics. Definitely eugenics. And of course, this is from NBC News. Just think about it. If it's from NBC News, that's the media, this is the propaganda. They, this is when they change facts and put in what they think and graywash everything because they're upset because DNA has already been proven that um, African Americans have a have a, um, a, a very ancient genetic code that most people don't have besides the Africans. Uh, you know, in this you know, space is. Um, and it, many scientists believe that um, the people travel from Africa and travel the globe. Or, you know, some, and then some people had a theory of the one land mass theory, where, you know, all the lands were together. But either or, the point is, they the DNA is showing that they have ancient DNA. Why can't they just be a specific group? You know, it's, that's, and then still trying to, this is the great Caucasoids using propaganda and racist tactic to include themselves in something that has nothing to do with them. Neanderthals and divinities, really? Everybody knows that these people probably, Europeans and, uh, were the one, Neanderthals is in Europe, was in Europe. Okay, divinities was in Asia. So, um, this is America, a whole to totally different continent. Really? And it says here, anthropologists refer to the patterns of divergence followed by the renewed interbring uh, introgression. Intergre Everybody know that there was no intergreen until the Great Caucasus came here into the Americas around the 1400s. Prior to that, the Great Caucasus were not over here. Okay, the Great Caucasus, you know, <sighs> Humans made it with the Neanderthals, mostly in Europe and uh, Asia, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I'm not sure, but it just seems to me they're trying to tie themselves into this.
pure pro uh, propaganda. I, you know, y'all get to, you leave your comments below and let me know what you all think. But this is why I think, you know, it's coming from NBC News, of course, owned by great Caucasians, and they um they are known historically for using propaganda to whack to greywash everything to benefit them or put paint a better picture of them. This has nothing to do with this. The African American, we are uh the Aborigine and African Americans, the Aborigine Americans, which are aka the African Americans. We are indigenous here and this research further supports that we are, you know, our own group of people. And, you know, this supports that we were already over here, that we are a distinct group of people. Yes, we probably tried, might have traveled from Africa. And now, of course, some people believe in a one mass theory, land mass theory. You know, whatever, whatever it may be, the fact is, the, uh, what I believe is that we were already over here. And this just supports that we are ancient group of people. And if you see any Neanderthal DNA, more than likely it came from the rapes and assaults during the slave trade. That has nothing to do you know, which messed up our bloodline, you know? But now they're trying to say that uh, Neanderthals said they could, great Caucasians could try to say that they were over, you know, it, it has nothing to do with you all, okay? It has everything to do with us as being um, indigenous and ancient groups of people as American Aborigines. But anyway, the results are more consistent with the intro Aggression of an odd lineage, pretty much. Yes, an odd lineage. <laughs> wow, they are awful. And see, it says Hammer told NBC News on the on the uh, past few day years, scientists have been coming around to view that such interbreeding did take place early in the history of our species. Yes, and that was the Great Caucasians and the Asians, of course. Uh, that that's how they were created, you know, through the into species with uh, the Africans. They the they're one hundred percent humans. I agree with that, but um, it usually they were in Europe, and it, that's how these uh, Asians and the um, Great Caucasian came about. But they were mostly in Europe and Asia. And I think they traveled down to North Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and some people have the uh, DNA as well. But now I don't see how this is with the African Americans if we came from Africa and we're related to Aborigines. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Maybe it's from the Aborigines. If I'm not mistaken, I, I'm not sure if the Aborigines might have a little divinity. Um, Divinity in here and them. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I'm not sure, you guys. Y'all see? Can I explain this? You know, please do. Um, maybe that's from how is with the Aboriginal side, but I'm not sure about that Neanderthal. If they trying to place themselves as being here too. But anyway, recent analysis of Neanderthal Dominion DNA has indicated that part of the genetic heritage survives in modern day humans. Yeah, they need to also see if it came from slavery. A lot of this came from that. And if we're um, Aboriginal Americans, there was a lot of uh, missing with the Mongoloid Indians and maybe the Mongoloid Indians were um, mixed with the Dominions. You know, they say the Asians, I think, I think the Dominions were the Asians. I'm not sure. But I, I'm going to have to, don't take my word for it, you guys. I'm still, re, you know, uh, this is my first time reading this with you all. So I'm not sure myself. So I'm going to have to do further research and try to understand this. <sighs> you know, this new studies and research make you think and try to figure out how things, it's like a puzzle, a puzzle piecing all the pieces together to get a, a bigger picture of what's going on. But anyway, recent analysis of Neanderthal Dominion DNA has indicated that part of genetic heritage survives in modern day humans. And it says here, Melissa, Melissa Wilson Cyrus, a geneticist of the University of California at Berkeley, will play no role in Hammer's research. 
said new findings were exciting because they point to the Y chromosome lineage more ancient than any others. They just happened to come across this one Y chromosome that was hidden for so long, and it's likely there are more hidden Y chromosomes around the world, she told NBC. That's interesting. That would be cool to find out. She said, one of the biggest debate in the study of human genetics has to do with how to match mutation rates with time scales. And she expected the latest studies to add to the debate. For example, some might continue to argue that the most recent common ancestors live more recently, more recently than 338,000 years ago. It's still, it will still be the oldest Y chromosome heritage that we have. But I can foresee that some people might disagree with the specific age, she said. And, and right here, it goes into other similar um, articles that touches on this. And then it has here, in addition to Henry Mendez, the authors of African-American parental lineage as an extremely ancient root to human Y chromosome phylogenetic, phylogenetic tree. And so this is more research right here. I think this is interesting, y'all. Yeah, I just, I, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to understand this. And um, I was pretty long with it with this article, but I wanted to show the journal to you all. I'm gonna bring y'all over here. Hold them over. Yes, this is the actual research right here that they done that goes into more detail. Uh, it says here this was published in cell.com. It says re report an African American paternal lineage as an extremely ancient root to the human Y chromosome phylogenetic tree. And it says here, um, I'm gonna read just the beginning part of it. This is the abstract. And it says here, we report the discovery of an African-American Y chromosome that carries the ancestral states of the SMPs that defines the basal point portion of the Y chromosome phylogenetic tree. <sighs> it says here, we sequence um, 240 KB of the chromosome to identify private derived mutations on this lineage, which we named AOO. We estimate the time that the most recent ancestors, TMRCA for the Y tree, as 338,000 years ago, KYA, 95% confidence interval equals 237 minus 581 KYA. That's the formula that they use to calculate this. And it says here, remarkably, remarkably, this exceeds current estimates that the mtDNA 10 mrca as well as those of the age of the oldest anatomically modern human fosters, fossils. And then it says here, the extreme ancient age combined with the rarity of AOO lineage, which we also finds very low frequency in Central Africa point to the importance of considering more complex models for the original Y chromosome diversity. And it says these models will include ancient population structures and the possibility of archa archaic introgression of Y chromosomes into anatomically modern humans. The A uh oh, lineage was discovered in a large database of consumer samples of African American and has been not been identified in traditional hunter gather population for Sub Saharan Africa. Here it is, discovered database. Let's read this again. 
<laughs> the AOO line into Discovery was a large database of consumer samples of African Americans that has not been identified in traditional hunter-gatherer population from sub-Saharan Africa. Whoa! Oh my gosh, these people have ah uh, wow these American Aborigines. <laughs> I can't believe this. It's this research is telling us that we're a separate group from an African, uh, from the African American is separate from the Sub Saharan African. This is a distinct group. The research is this is the DNA is supporting that, that we're a separate group. You know, that's why I always say we always should be calling ourselves American Aborigines. You're a descendant of a slave. That's what you are. And the uh, we are. We are. Yes, we're melanated and everything, but the DNA is showing that um, we are indigenous. And further supports that theory. And then it says here, this underscores. Let me move myself over. I can scoot over. Let's see here. Ah. I can read this name. It says this uh, uh, underscore from the stochastic nature of the genealogical process can affect interference from a single locus and warrants caution during the interpretation of the geographic location of divergent branches of the Y chromosome. Phylogenetic, phylogenetic tree, but the uh, ulysic of human origins. Whoa, this is amazing, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I found this channel, um, this particular research from another fellow YouTuber. I can't remember his name. Oh my gosh, but I found it on another person's channel. And um, I thought this was some really interesting information. And um, and I wanted to make sure I shared it with you all. Now this right here, this DNA, this is a, um, I believe this is a Scarlet Journal article, if I'm not mistaken. It's set up just like a Scarlet Journal article, just that I oftentimes see um, when I do my own personal research, you know, for school, for this doctoral program. But yeah, I will definitely put a link to this to you, you guys. And this is pretty much the abstract explaining what their findings and what they're finding. That's why I was saying, you know, um, I'm wondering if they're getting these um, DNA from these home kits that they send out. And you see, you know, uh, this is just a tip of some of the stuff they be doing to dig information about our ancestors. So it's this research is further showing and supporting that we are pretty much indigenous, ancient group of people. And um, I guess these are the... Uh, yeah, here it is. This is where we thank Brent and Arjun and, and uh, they thinking all the people here participating in family tree DNA. So I guess cause customers, that's how they pulled the, their information from the DNA. They, at least they gave an acknowledgement. Some, some people don't give an acknowledgement at all. And um, I guess I could read this. Last part, it says here, although the stochastic nature of the evolutionary uh, process can explain that uh, after forementioned incongruence, the extreme age and rarity of AOO lineage point to the possibility of high structured ancestral population consistent of recent work, from, uh, work of the autosomes. This could take the form of long-standing population structures of AMH populations or archaic introgressions from the archaic form of the ancestors AMH. Interesting, the MBO live, live less than 800 kilometers away from the Nigerian site known as um, Iluru. Let's continue on. Skeletal remains of both archaic and modern features were found dated. Further surveys in Sub-Saharan Africa and Africa discovered might uncover more diverse basal lineage will help 
they disentangle some of the complex evolutionary process that shape patterns of Y chromosome diversity. Finally discovered, A009 has demonstrated the power of public participation in the scientific process of venture that likely continue to the current era of personal geno geno genomics. I'm sorry. <laughs> it don't die. But yeah, it's going into more detail. I didn't get a chance to read. This is a um, lengthy uh, research, and it has the charts here, the supporting document data right here. And, you know, the data, and they're just showing the people in Africa that also has this uh, similar um, time frame or age of being ancient through their DNA. And that's the Cameroon. And, um, yeah, it's just giving more support of document right here. And it sort of shows that we are in pretty much indigenous right here. And yeah, um, I'll be interested to in see if they have Neanderthals and all uh, and the Davidians in here. You know, I have to read the article because I noticed with the NBC um, article, they tried to include Neanderthals in there. But I'm not sure I see that in here. I have to really read this article to the fullest. I haven't had a chance to read the whole thing. I saw this, just get, read um, the abstract with you all and also the concluding paragraph. You know, I didn't get a chance to read the whole thing myself. But just skimming through it, I don't see anything about Neanderthals um, unless I'm missing it. But yeah, I don't see that at all. See, that's why I said that's that gray cock. Uh, that gray uh, supremacist attitude of trying to put themselves in research and history that's pertaining to people who are melanated race people. You know, this is about the Africans and, and the, um, Abor American Aborigines and Africans, you know? It's about our history and is being indigenous. Why on earth do they have to put themselves in their thing? It has nothing to do with them. This ha and all this occurred prior to them, you know, coming on this planet, pretty much. But they got to try to put themselves in it. That's what they did in that research. See, I like this article better because it sticks to facts. And with NBC, I go back over here. They put speculations, you know, racist tactics, ra racist speculations. Um, trying to put themselves into something that has nothing to do with them. But that's how I perceive it. I might be a little bit wrong, but if y'all see it from a different angle, please let me know. But um, yeah, but then I'm going to put the links to these articles below. I think this is excellent research, you guys. I am really excited to learn about all of this um, and showing that we are an ancient group of people and that we are indigenous. And I believe that we are indigenous here in America. Um, if we're African American, uh, the Aboriginal American, definitely we are. But please like this video and thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I am also on um, Black Junction TV. And I am also on Facebook and I have a Facebook page as well. I also have a PayPal and um, GoFundMe and um, what is the other one? Yeah, the, I can't think of the other one, but I'm on there. So if y'all want to donate, feel free. But um, till next time, peace, family, and be best. Bye-bye. Oh, Patreon. <laughs> that what it was. Patreon. Till next time, peace, family. Be blessed. Bye-bye.